So. You want to reset for you? I'm sorry. No, I'm fine. Okay. Good. I can spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daryl Steinberg. I'm the mayor of Sacramento. I'm joined by my colleague, Councilmember Alan Warren, representing uh, District 2 and D2 Cares. D2 Cares. D2 Cares. Cares. And Daniel Bowers, who is the head of our Office of Emergency Services uh, in the city. Um, so I want to start out this way. Um, there, we could have a discussion today about what the city must do legally, but instead we're going to have a discussion about what the city and the county and the region is choosing to do because it's the right thing to do. Under the law, we are not required to open the cooling centers because the requirement is that the nighttime temperature has to be over 75 degrees for a consecutive number of days. And while the daytime is going to be very warm, at nighttime, the National Weather Service tells us that the weather is going to be 75 or below. We are putting all that aside. And we have decided in collaboration with our county partners that we are going to open cooling centers throughout the city of Sacramento because it's the right thing to do. The homeless population um, suffers enough and people already have a hard enough time. And frankly, regardless of what the rule is, when the weather is 106, 107, 108 degrees in the middle of the day, people's lives are at risk. And so this isn't everything. And in fact, just to give you a little bit of a tease, on Monday, the city is going to make a major announcement about a a multi-million dollar funding strategy around our homeless challenge. But this is a good lead-in because no matter what we do to permanently house people and address the problem long-term, the crisis for thousands of Sacramentans is now. Whether it's the cold of winter, whether it's the heat of the summer, we need to open our public facilities as we are going to do to make sure that people can come inside, can get something to drink and remain hydrated, can get something to eat, but mostly to be out of the element. So it's going to be this facility, the Joe Mims uh, Hagenwood Community Center, the George Sim Community Center in South Sacramento, and the Central Library. We're going to be open from the middle of the day, I believe, till 8 o'clock p.m. And that should provide people, um, hundreds of people, with some real respite. And I'm grateful to our city. I'm grateful to the county um, for stepping up and doing the right thing.